Hello Scorpio, I'm here to do your second half of December bi-weeklies. What is up for the Scorpios? The song I got on shuffle for you guys was First Time by Liam Payne, French Montana, I guess. I don't know. Um, so the song basically is just saying like, I always pick up on the first time. I was hoping that she'd check on me. So maybe you're waiting to hear from somebody. Um, somebody who maybe you cave into really quickly. I don't know. We're going to go with the cards on this one. That was the song that came up. I don't really know that song very well. So, yeah. Let's take a look and see what the cards have to say. Overall energy between you and another person for the second half of December. The Justice card. You could be waiting for somebody to make a decision. You could also be dealing with a... Um, Libra. But I do feel as though you're waiting for somebody to make a decision. You're waiting. You're waiting. That's what you feel like. You're waiting. Oh my gosh. Stop! I make myself laugh sometimes. The card that came out was the hangman. You are waiting. You're waiting on this person to make a decision and you're waiting for them to like call you with that decision. What's going on? Don't mind me. I'm just drinking my apple cider vinegar. Yum. All right. Um, <laughs> let's take a look. Okay, here's this world card. I really feel like with this situation, it's all hinging on this person making a decision, this person moving forward. Like, <sighs> you're ready to have that decision made whether it means like it's over or whether it means like you move on to like this new beginning, you're just ready for, you're ready, you're ready, you're just ready for something to change. You're ready to get out of this waiting period. Nine of Cups, I do think you will get wish fulfillment here. There's that five of Pentacles, um, being out in the cold, feeling like you're, some of you guys could be waiting on a job offer. Um, just saying. But for some of you, this is a person here, a person who maybe hasn't contacted you, but you know that they're going to, and you're just waiting. You're waiting. You just know that this person's going to contact you. So let me get this world card here. World card. Like you just, you just want something to end. Now, whether that's an ending and then it begins again, but you're waiting. I don't know why that word keeps popping up, that you're just waiting, because you are. All right, so what's this world card? Three of Pentacles, more waiting, waiting. This could definitely be with a work situation too. Keep that in mind. I like that the mutual energy is the Nine of, Pentac uh, Nine of Cups, because that does show me wish granted, some happiness. Oh, Five of Pentacles, we got the clarifier just jumped out. Hi Priestess, this person is not communicating. You might be waiting for this person to communicate to you. You might be waiting for this person to like reach out. Um, I just don't understand why you feel you can't move forward until this person does. But let me see. All right, King of Pentacles. So like I said, for some of you, this really is job related. Um, this lover's card and then the queen of pentacles. Interesting. This is your match. That's why this is your soulmate and they could be in the process of ending another connection and that's what you're waiting for. You could have like made it very clear stated with this person like, Hey, I don't want to move forward with you unless you are with somebody else. You could work with this person or unless you are done with that other person, you know, because I do feel like you have set clear boundaries here, but now you're just waiting and you could be waiting on the decision that they make. Like, are you going to choose me or are you going to stay in that connection type of situation? So this king of pentacles here. So we've got a lot of earth energy. We've got Gemini energy on the table. Um, I think you already made this person an offer. You made this person an offer and you're, you're waiting on them to make a decision. So for some of you, it's not a third party situation. 
It's like you offered this person something and you're waiting. You're waiting to see if they take the offer. You're waiting. Um, so like I said, for some of you, this is literally a job. But for some of you, you've offered commitment to this person and you're waiting. And like it's like they're kind of stalling. They're kind of stalling. You're a little bit in the unknown. Expect around the full moon, you're going to get an answer. Okay? Full moon. You're going to get an answer sometime around the full moon. Queen of Pentacles. Five of Queen of Pentacles. Give me a card here for the Queen of Pentacles. It's like they're the one assessing the the offer. I do feel like they're going to pick you. They're going to make the decision to, two of cups. They're gonna make the decision to move forward on this, but right now, right now they're, they're doing, they're, let's see, because the Empress, there we go. Three of cups, eight of swords. There's that indecision. That's them being indecisive. Three of cups, um, this could be a third party, situation you know but I do feel as though for some of you you've set a clear boundary with this person you're just waiting I do feel like this person's going to come towards you um I think you're going to if you haven't heard from this person you will hear from them around that full moon time which is actually this week so give it like five days maybe going into next week I would say you'll end up hearing from this person during these two weeks but right now it's just kind of like waiting. Which you should never wait for someone. Keep on living your life. And when this person's going to come, they're going to come. So Ten of Swords, the Empress. Um, I think that's... There is a new beginning here, but it hinges on the ending of something. So it's one of those things where... Um, like I just said, I don't think you should wait on anybody, especially if this person's having trouble picking between you and another person. Um, I wouldn't waste time. And I'm not saying that this person is a waste of time. I'm just saying, like, you have to keep on living your life. If this person is going through something, which I want to pull for that indecision card, why is this person so indecisive with this? Why is this person so indecisive? They could be, they could have a lot going on with their work. They could be financially out in the cold and it's not necessarily a third party. It's them having to choose between their career and you. Um, the chariot, again, decision card, decisions, decisions, decisions. Five of cups, it's like, oh man. This person wants to move forward, but they're a little bit stuck in the past. There's something here that has this person stuck living in the past, uh, not realizing the opportunities that are in front of them. Um, you could have asked this person to travel with you. You could have asked this person to go somewhere with you. There's just this sense of a lot of uncertainty with this person. And I feel like instead of confronting the situation, they're like hiding from you. But they do want this connection with you. They do want to be in this connection. But there's obviously this underlying um, thing that's holding them back. And this could always be vice versa, you know. But I do feel as though this week you might hear from this person. Or get, like I said, give or take a week from the full moon time. Um... I want to get one more clarifier for that Ten of Swords. What is that Ten of Swords? The Sun card. Okay, so something has to end here for the this Sun to come forward. Um, for this happy... Ha so there might be something... Some ending here. It could be this person leaving another person. This person might have to leave another person to come to this connection. And I really feel as though they're they're 
they don't want to hurt that person. They're really, they're really, a, they, I don't know why I can't communicate. I feel like this person's having a lot of problems communicating. Um, I think they're afraid to hurt this person. They know that right on the other side is happiness, but then they know it's going to be unhappiness for this person. And it's, it's just hard. I think this person doesn't like to be the bad the bad guy or like, you know, bad guy, bad girl. I just say bad guy because you can be a girl and be the bad guy. Um, figure of speech because some people are sensitive here. All right. So, um, gosh, that's kind of what I'm seeing, Scorpio. I feel like you're going to hear from this person soon about their decision. You're not going to have to wait much longer. They know that in this case, somebody's going to get hurt and that stresses them out. Um, I think the other person in this situation is going to feel blindsided so that they feel as though the other person's kind of the victim in the whole scenario. Um, and that's what's taking them so long. They feel like they're going to get karma, but they are eventually going to move forward. They are going to figure it out. Um, they are just assessing right now. So I wouldn't stress too much about them being quiet because I do think that they're going to come communicate to you. I do think that they feel as though you guys are a match for one another. And I think in their mind, they've already chosen you. They've already chosen in their mind. Now they're just figuring out how to, how to move forward, how to move forward in the best, least painful way for everybody. So that's what I'm seeing for you guys, Scorpio. Uh, in the extended, I'll do messages from this person, actions this person is planning on taking, advice from spirit, as well as how to move forward on this connection, what's blocking it. Also, if this didn't resonate with you, please don't, please don't force it. There's a lot of other readers, you know, this is a specific situation. So if it's like you're in a happy relationship right now, don't force this. Don't force this. Um... I think that goes without saying. These are for entertainment purposes. And, you know, there's a lot of Scorpios out here watching this video. If it didn't resonate with you this week, maybe it will next week. So just have to clarify that. I hope this was received well. And I will see you guys in the extended. Click the link in the description box. Bye.